Jacob discovers a mysterious dragon rider who's closer to him than he thinks when the peace between dragons and Vikings is threatened. Hi, I'm Jerry Butler. And so is he. And here's a scene from How to Train Your Dragon 2. Come on, bud. There's a whole other world of dragons out there. Unbelievable. What do you say? What should we name it? Itchy armpit it is. I want to get a really good perspective of what it might be like to be an actor working on an animated film. So what does it feel like when you're in that sound booth? Isolating. <laughs> uh, most of the time you're recording by yourself in a sound booth with the director and everyone else on the other side of glass. This is your big moment. Have a nice flight! We did it in the first movie, but we didn't do it in this one because of scheduling and stuff. The, uh, but we kind of... I think it helps if you can do it, but it also, it's not really necessary because you go into the, the world in your head. For me it was quite isolating because I only, I only did one uh, session with America and that was it and the rest were on my own. You certainly are hard to get rid of. You know, certain aspects of, uh, you know, doing an animated feature can seem very clinical, you know, because it's just you and the mic and, you know, obviously uh, your director guiding you along the way. I didn't realize how much work goes into, uh, you know, even just doing voice over. What's down there? I alone control the dragons. Drago blood this is a madman. Is there a lot of work? Yeah. Where do you draw all of that energy that's, from? That's, that's the work. That's the work. And uh, you gotta tap into the backstory of your character. You know, it's just you and the mic and you're just doing so many things to try to get the organic nature of your character on screen. I bet you think you know a lot about dragons. Should I know you? No, but a mother never forgets. Coming into How to Train Your Dragon 2, what was your vision? The vision was really to create a trilogy. So we, we knew that we had uh, a successful movie in How to Train Your Dragon by creating a trilogy and then introducing the second installment as the second act five years narratively after the first means that we can meet Hiccup as a 20-year-old now. And he's got this itch inside of him of, of feeling as though there's something more for him. Every dragon has its secrets. I'll show them all to you. Did you know about this? We are here in Cannes. It's very exciting because it is the 20th anniversary for DreamWorks. I want to talk to you about the history of DreamWorks and the history of being here in Cannes. It's, we've loved the festival, and I have to be honest, it's loved us back. I, I find being here on that red carpet with a movie, you know, is the greatest of honors. Uh, it's a privilege to be in the Cannes Film Festival, and it's an amazing opportunity to sort of launch our, our movies out into the world, and so I'm, I'm excited for Dragons tomorrow night to have its world premiere here. Ah, oh, you know that doesn't wash out. In the first few opening shots, when we first see your characters, I think I've seen both of your work enough to know your own facial expressions. <laughs> and I'm like, that is totally how Jay talks. <laughs> you can see his eyebrows the way he moves. I'm like, that's so crazy. I'm like, they had to have filmed him. <laughs> yeah, they, they often have a video camera rolling uh, for whatever reason. Right? If someone wants to see my terrible posture in a cartoon. What a team now. What do you want to do? When we did the first one, um, that Christoph, who's the guy who animates me, there's so many animators, but he's my, he doesn't even do all of me, but he's my chief animator. Is he just the eyebrows? <laughs> he's the eyebrows <laughs> he's guy. the eyebrows guy. But yeah, he right? showed... Yeah. They, that what can they, take a really long time. Sure. <laughs> they, they put this piece together of me, and it's a point where I'm saying, Odin, it was rough. I almost gave up on you. And I do this, and he showed together, me and then the animated version, and it was the exact same, it was all the moves. There's something you need to know. Oh boy. I know what you're gonna say. You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Well, I saw How to Drain Your Dragon 2 last night. It was amazing. I actually think I might like it better than the first one. Well, that's the best news of all. Because <laughs> you know, that's actually what we try and do. Of you course, know I mean? you all have to get better, right? Well, the greatest success for us comes when we exceed the expectations of our audience. And so, you know, you saw the first movie, you loved it. 
you know, you're interested in seeing the next film, but more often than not, we actually kind of get a little disappointed the second time around, right? It, that is true. And in a sequel, I think sometimes harder the, even than an original movie. So when that happens, you know, that's the, that's the nicest compliment you can say, honestly, right. that you like it more than the first. Drago's coming for our dragons. We have to stop him together. So if you've seen the first film and you have also seen this film, you know that Hiccup has always struggled um, to find out where he comes from because he doesn't feel like his father. Yeah. He wants to know who he takes after. And I feel like all of us kind of take after one parent over the other. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm more like my dad. How about for you? Do you feel like you take after one of your parents more than the other? I've thought about this a lot. I always used to think I was more like my mum. And actually, I'm just... Exactly, I'm just as much like my dad as my, I am my mum. I'm an absolute 50-50 split. No, I'm a mama's boy, 150%. I, I, it's, it's, uh, it's scary how sad where I am to my mother. Yeah, there's a reason I live four blocks away from her. <laughs> he hasn't moved away from home, really. Yeah. How about you? I, I don't know, I couldn't say. It's a bit of a mystery, actually. <laughs> but the nice thing about Hiccup is he, he comes to the same discovery that I did, that that we are in, in ways equal parts, both of our parents, but we're, we're something else, you know? We're, by be, by be, I think those two mixes sort of create a third other being, and Hiccup has to discover who that is. It's a really emotional movie. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, it, it's so incredibly exciting and adventurous, you know, but at the same time, it's very emotional, and at times gets pretty dark, and it really takes you on a journey all over the place. Hiccup down! Hold on! Made in Hollywood